After many luxury designer fine jewelry shopping vlog, to many different designer jewelry brands on my YouTube channel, and a few of my best luxury designer fine jewelry purchases this year, let me tell you what's on top of my luxury designer fine jewelry wish list right now. I will include their price details as always. Let's get right into the video. Let's start with Van Cleef and Appels. Currently on top of my BCA wish list is a pair of earrings. After trying on the three motif earrings and the four motif earrings in person, I'm pretty sure the two motif dangling earrings are a better option for me since the three motif and the four motif did feel heavy for me. And also, I will be able to get more wear out of the two motif than three and four motif earrings. Our VCA boutique doesn't have any two motif earrings are available right now, so I put two pairs on my wish list, and my SA will notify me when they arrive. The first pair is the two motif Lucky Alhambra earrings in Mother of Pearl and Tiger Eye. This pair is currently retail for $7,150. The other pair my SA will notify me is the two motif Magic Alhambra earrings in Mother of Pearl. This pair is $6,400. Between these two pair, which one do you like better or which one do you think I should get? I also put the Magic Alhambra earrings in Mother of Pearl on my wish list as well with my SA since it's so stunning and I really love the size. This pair is currently retail for $5,250. I can think about it among these three pairs and also see which pair becomes available first. I have seen so many beautiful VCA pieces in person, yet there are still a lot of them were never available in the boutique. Feel free to check out my jewelry or vlog playlist on my YouTube channel for more jewelry shopping vlog videos. So the second item on my VCA wish list is a necklace. I actually really love this sweet Humber butterfly pendant in yellow gold and mother of pearl. It's $1,520. The dainty style will also layer so well with my other dainty necklaces as well. The other necklace I'm considering is the lucky Humber butterfly pendant in yellow gold and mother of pearl. This one is currently retail for $3,250, which is bigger than the sweet Alhambra style. I will need to pick one between these two when they arrive. Which one do you prefer? One thing for sure is that I'm pretty into butterfly look these days. Actually, VCA also has another two butterfly pendant in rose gold, diamond, and mother of pearl, which is even more prettier. And this one is $8,300. So I definitely think the sweet Alhambra and the lucky butterfly is a better deal than this one. What do you think? These are the ones on top of my VCA wish list. In a way, it depends on when these items will become available in the boutique. Other than that, which one do you think I should get first? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. You know how much I love Rolex? If you watch a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, you may also know that I have been chasing the panda for a couple of years. And I explained in one of my videos how much I've spent and how much more I need to spend to get the panda video. I'll link that video down below for you to check it out after this video. So the panda is still on my wish list right now and I'm still working toward it. The panda is currently retail for $14,000. $550. However, I did tell my SA I want another watch when I purchased my diamond day just with the beautiful mother of pearl dial earlier this year. Some of you may know that I really love a GMT Master 2. So far, I have the Rubier and the Bad Girl. It would be really nice to collect them all. So the one that I really want next is the Pepsi actually. So the Pepsi should not be difficult to get based on my current spending with the same AD. I'm so excited and I will keep you posted when I get my watch. So the Pepsi is currently retail for $10,750. Love the color combo. I request it to be in the Jubilee bracelet only. What do you think of my next watch? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. 
thought about AP before, but I feel that AP's watch is something that I just can't let go in the back of my mind. Look at how delicious their dial, their clasp, and also the angular dial face. My goodness, I die for them. I'm particularly interested in their Royal Oak collection in the 37 size. 34 might be a bit too small to my taste. Thank God that there is no AP boutique in San Francisco, so I'll have to get it while I am traveling somewhere. And it's not like you want it, you could get it immediately. So I have more time to save a bit more money for the Royal Oak, but just sharing it with you that my love toward AP has been growing. This stainless steel one is $25,300. The two-tone one is $31,100. The dark blue dial is $25,300 and the light blue dial is $25,300. I actually like all of them in size 37, so just really depends on which one I can get my hands on. I would totally take my time to go through the process of getting it. What do you think? Which one is your favorite? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. As for Hermes fine jewelry, some of you may remember that I was waiting for this pair of asymmetrical echappe earrings. It's been over a year and I still have not gotten any news from my essay about this pair of earrings. Honestly, I think I lost my interest and I don't know if I want it anymore. But right now, I really like the Kelly chain choker in the small model. Besides this necklace, you can also wear it as a bracelet to double around your wrist. This one is currently retail for $6,750. The same Kali choker is also available in the diamond version, which you can also wear it as a bracelet. So the diamond version is $11,700. I have put both of them on my wish list and no sign of receiving it at all due to the low inventory. I'm not in any rush if you watched my other videos. I'll get at the right time for my next quota bag at Hermes. What do you think of these two chokers? Which one do you like better? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. As for Cartier, you may know that I'm really interested in the Clash the Cartier bracelet in the small model rose gold on the left side. The bracelet is currently retail for $7,000. I love the spiky design and it looks really edgy and definitely added some variety to my current stack. The other one I'm still thinking about is the Pantia the Cartier watch in the small model. I love how beautiful the steel bracelet is and it's just like a jewel piece and yet still really good for everyday wear on its own. It's a very simple yet sophisticated piece to wear to the office as well. Also a totally different style to what I already have which makes a great addition to my collection. This one is currently retail for $3,950. And you already know my obsession toward the Just Uncool Choker necklace. It's just such a versatile piece that I will be able to wear when I dress up or dress down. This one is currently retail for $12,500. I will take my time to think about them as time will tell me which ones are my favorite of the favorites. What's on your find your wish list? Leave me a comment down below to let me know and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!